Hey everybody, my name is Lisa and I'm the Crafty Goddess. Hello and welcome. I know it's been over a month since I last posted a video and I'm very sorry about that. Um, I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat this. My mental health has been just, well, it's been a struggle. <laughs> Let's put it this way. It's It's been uh, the past couple months. I've really just been struggling and trying to, you know, get things better. There, there's <laughs> usually, I don't know why it is, as soon as the camera turns on, my normal eloquence with the English language just flies out the window, but um, it, it's been kind of hard lately. I don't know if it's just a combination of pandemic and hard work and whatnot, but uh, I am getting better. I'm going through counseling. I'm, I started taking up yoga again. <laughs> My uh, cousin became a yoga instructor and I started doing one-on-one -on -one classes with her. And I find that's been benefiting a lot. Uh, as far as like mind, body, and spirit goes, it's been pretty amazing. So I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going through the proper channels. I'm getting some proper help. I'm getting some things resolved and, uh, yeah, here's to bigger and better and you know, on the up and up, right? But, uh, I haven't really, well, I mean, I kind of neglected my, uh, crafting, unfortunately, when anxiety and depression duke it out, you know, I'm not exactly feeling too creative. Uh, I started doing more simpler projects, uh, just basically things that aren't too intricate or have a lot of detail just to sort of keep my mind occupied otherwise. And they seem to be working fine. Um, I also recently made some time to do some shopping at one of our brick and mortar stores here in Guelph, uh, here in the southwestern Ontario region. And the name of the shop is called All Strung Out. They have been in Guelph since 2007. Uh, they've been on Quebec Street. If you know the downtown area in and around Guelph, Quebec Street is one of the main arteries. It's got a lot of really cute uh, shops and little things like that. There's like, there's a couple of churches. My mom even remembers, uh, being around since she was a youngin and, um, it, it's a gorgeous little shop. It's sells the higher end yarns. Like you're not going to find Lion Brand or Burnett and Patton's stuff there. You're going to find things like Manos del Uruguay and Barocco, um, Cascade and Noro, like the higher end fibers, which is cool because, um, as far as I'm concerned, I think everybody deserves to treat themselves to some nice luxury high end yarn every once in a while. You know, the, I'm slightly biased, obviously. <laughs> so I was just going to run through this, a uh, little quick information about all strung out. Um, they, offer, well, now that pandemic measures have been relaxing, uh, they offer in-store shopping now, but they, you know, request that people, you know, please keep your distance and try not to get up in everybody else's business when they're doing their shopping, that sort of thing. Uh, masks are not mandatory, but if you want to wear one, you're more than welcome to. Uh, they also still offer curbside pickup and local delivery. They were doing that over the past two years. Um, the owners, Andy and Paula Reed, were telling me about how over the last two years business was really thriving because a lot of us were at home unexpectedly for weeks on end and kind of didn't know what to do with ourselves. So it was a perfect excuse to not just, you know, dive into our stash, but replenish it. <laughs> I know I had a couple of deliveries made here, uh, different interchangeable tips and whatnot. And they're incredibly friendly. If you've ever been to All String Out and you know Andy and Paula Reed, you know who I'm talking about. They are the sweetest people on the planet. Them and their, their daughters, like the whole family is just so incredibly lovely and accommodating and amazing and super helpful. Uh, and apparently Paula told me she watches the channel. So Paula, if you're watching, hi. <laughs> um, so yes, they still offer curbside pickup, local delivery. And if you're ordering from out of Guelph, they do, uh, ship orders. Uh, on top of that, they offer free shipping on orders that are, uh, $150 or more before taxes. And the, the last day I went in there to uh, pick up some of this yummy fiber, they were packing some orders that were being shipped out to like Ottawa and whatnot. And those bags look pretty heavy. So I'm, I'm curious to know what's going to be made out of those hefty stashes. 
Um, I'm going to put the email address down below. It's allstrungoutyarns.ca, but I will drop that in the comments. They are open Mondays through Saturdays. They used to do um, in-store lessons, like different types of knitting, knitting techniques, how to knit, um, whatnot. But unfortunately, they're not doing that right now. Um, I believe they're not doing it to the, in the summer just because everybody's going out and catching up on vacation time, going up to the cottage or whatever. Um, yes, Kitty. Sorry, I don't know if anybody can hear this meowing in the background. As soon as I'm in the kitchen, some of the cats will think, Hey, it's showtime. I'm hungry. <laughs> Later. <laughs> uh, so yeah, check them out. They're, like I said, I can't rave enough about them. They're wonderful. They're friendly. The selection of yarns they have is indescribable. Now, the reason I, I kind of embellished on my whoops on my stash collection here is because for the month of june all strung out had a sale a 30 percent off everything in the store sale so naturally i had to get down there and uh grab some fiber <laughs> uh i haven't seen this one before the color store yarns i haven't well i mean like i said they're higher end yarns so you're not going to find a lot of these in shops like michael's or lens mill or whatever um, but i thought i'd grab a few items here i i'm not quite sure what i'm going to turn them into yet but this is color story yarns it's a hand painted sock yarn it is absolutely gorgeous i i've heard the name color story yarns but i've never actually shopped with them before so let's just read the tag if i can i probably should have made crib notes beforehand so this is a uh 75 super wash 25% nylon. Each skein has 400 meters or 100 grams. Uh, needle requirements or needle suggestions, sorry, are 2.25 to 3 millimeters. So it would be perfect for a sock yarn. I was attracted by the color and the softness. I am a sucker for a good superwash merino. This is absolutely beautiful. Hand painted in Peru. Uh, it was the oranges and reds and purples that really attracted me. I probably will make some socks out of this for myself. I haven't made myself a pair of socks in a while. Um, but yeah, that caught my eye. I had to, I had to bring it home with me. Next up we have Manos del Uruguay Alegria. I love Manos del Uruguay yarns. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm um, just, I'm going to have to bring this closer to my face so I can read all about Manos del Uruguay. Uh, the Hands of Uruguay is a non-profit organization which assembles women in cooperatives throughout the countryside of Uruguay. The aim of the organization is to bring economic and social opportunities to rural women. So it's a great community project, women gathering together to uh, spin and hand dye yarn. It's, it's for the greater good. And plus, this yarn is absolutely gorgeous. The Allegria, I've used Maxima before. I've used a couple of different types of yarns before. This one is 75% uh, Merino Superwash, 25% Polyamide. Uh, the needle recommendations are 2.2523. So again, it is a sock yarn. And each uh, skein has 3.5 ounces or 100 grams per skein. Works out to 445 yards or 405 meters. Again, I love a good superwash. And again, it was like the purples. Uh, more like springy, summery colors. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be putting this and that color story yarn up on my yarn swift and ball winder later. So I can make some really cute. I was thinking for this, maybe like a nice cute chalette. Like just something to wrap around one's neck. I just, I thought it was adorable. Now, the rest of these yarns are from Barocco. Um, according to Paula, Barocco has really stepped up their game. I've used Barocco yarns before. I usually use the Barocco uh, sock yarns. And they're a lot of fun to play with. But there's a couple different types here I have yet to indulge in. So I thought I would do that. This is Barocco sesame yarn. And just, this was the only skein of this colorway in the shop at the time I bought it. So I thought I would grab it because uh, I'm a fall gal. Everybody knows this. <laughs> um, so I'm jumping ahead of season, but that's fine. I, I'm really attracted to this colorway. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, by the way, the washing instructions for the Allegria and the, uh, the Color Story Sock Yarn. 
because it is a machine or super wash merino it does say hand or machine wash or hand wash in cool water if you're gonna machine wash um like a super wash merino i would heavily recommend uh putting them in, in the what do you call it the delicate cycle I'm losing my words. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I would recommend if you are going to throw them in the washer, put them in the delicate cycle and just let them air dry. It's so much better that way. Um, this Baro this one is called yeah, Baroque Sesame. Let's read the label together. It's 43% wool, 39% acrylic, 9% cotton, and 9% nylon. And it is as squishy as it looks. This is gorgeous. I love it. Uh, Karen's instructions says for best results after you knit something out of the sesame yarn, uh, place garment in a mesh wash bag. Sorry, I don't think you can read this. Uh, machine wash separately in cold water on delicate cycle, lay flat to dry. So again, it will go with the delicate cycles, no problem. Uh, the needle gauge on this is a 4.5 to a 5 millimeter, uh, as well as a 4.5 crochet hook. Um, it does feel like a worsted. I mean, it's kind of like on the thin end of a worsted, but it definitely feels like it's got the heft of a worsted. I really like it. Again, this might be like just a simple shawlette or maybe like a skinny scarf or something. I haven't decided yet. I just saw this and was like, mine. Now you've seen the Broca Sesame. We're going to move on to the Summer Sesame. I saw a couple of colorways in this. I had to buy them. <laughs> it was the green and the purple that, that got it for me, or in this case, the green and pink. Uh, and then we get some darker greens as well. The Summer Sesame. You know what? I'll just hold this up like this because I think I'm losing my focus. I'm sorry. Summer Sesame is made out of 47% cotton. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Don't want to do that. 47% uh, cotton, 44% acrylic, 9% nylon. Each cake weighs 3.5 ounces or 100 grams and measures 295 yards or 270 meters. Um, yes, this yarn is as soft as it looks. Like it is absolutely gorgeous. I am a sucker for a good cotton acrylic nylon blend myself. <laughs> Uh, just about as much as I am with the Merino. Now, the needle requirements are four to four and a half millimeter or a 4.5 crochet hook, which works out to, I want to say a G, I could be wrong. Um, it is listed as a worsted weight of four and it does feel like a worsted. Again, it's similar to the sesame. It's on the thinner side of worsted, but because it's the summer sesame, like the sesame is like straight up wool, acrylic, cotton, and nylon. This doesn't have the wool in it obviously. Uh, hence the summer sesame. I imagine it's got a very nice drape to it. Um, I asked Paula at All Strung Out if it, and she said it does have a gorgeous drape to it. See, cotton yarns can be a little finicky to work with because sometimes they can be a little sturdier than one expected, but I think with this cotton acrylic nylon blend, it's going to work out wonderfully. I can't wait. This was the only skein of this color that I found, but I had to get two of these, so... Um, I'm thinking either shawlette, maybe like a nice summer shell top, something like that. Last but not least, we have Barocco Vivo. Hold that there. I'll read off this one. Um, the colorway is really, I'm not a yellow person at all, but yellow is the color of the solar plexus chakra. It's about boosting self-confidence, um, that sort of thing, like self-esteem. Uh, and it's got a really nice almost like a mauvey pinky in there. Just really cute. I'm not a yellow person because any, anytime I tried to wear yellow, it makes me look like I'm about to be yellow, <laughs> which is not flattering. But uh, this was, this called out to me. So I think getting the two cakes, I might be able to pull, you know, get away with a nice shawlette, something similar to that. So the Barocco Vivo, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that their summer yarns are going to be a force, are a force to be reckoned with. I haven't played with them. Like I said, I'm going to be fixing that very soon. The Broca Vivo is 100% cotton, but as you can see, like the way it's spun, like it's almost like an irregular, like it's like big, then small, then big. Um, but it's nice. Like it, it feels, it doesn't feel like your typical cotton yarn. It actually feels like a little bit squishier, if that makes any sense. 
Each cake weighs 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, uh, measuring 317 yards or 290 meters. I should also mention that Barocco yarns are made in Italy, so Italians know their, their cotton yarns. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. The needle requirements are a 4 millimeter, which works out to a US 6 uh, 4 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so it is a G. My apologies. Um, it's listed as a DK, well, a lightweight of 3 or a DK weight. Just absolutely. I'm going to squish this for you so you can live vicariously through me as I'm doing this. It's, it's beautiful. It is a cotton yarn. It feels like a cotton yarn, but it feels more malleable than a cotton yarn. So I'm really looking forward to playing with that. Uh, and the last item I got was a cable, uh, a Knitter's Pride cable. This one is 60 inches or 150 centimeters because I make some pretty big shawls and I need the, the needle space. Um, I started using interchangeable needles from Knitter's Pride and Knit Picks last year. They are actually interchangeable, both Knitter's Pride and Knit Picks. Uh, I picked this up so I could make some extra long shawls. And then it wasn't, it was till, it wasn't until after I bought this that Andy showed me, uh, the needles and the tips from a company called Chiagu, Chiagu, C-H-I-A-G-O-O. -O. Uh, and they're going to be a, a game changer. As much as I love Knitter's Pride Knit Picks, I think I might have to switch up to Chiagu as well. Um, but these are wonderful. If you use the little needle here, you can tighten up the tips so they don't unravel and fall off on you. I've actually had that in the middle of a shawl with several stitches and it was, I think it was a lace pattern and I just about pitched it all off my balcony. I was so sad and enraged, but I got one of these for the extra space. I can't wait to dig into this. Um, yeah, I was very, very happy that they had this. So yeah, they've got the needles, they've got accessories, they've got different bags. Uh, and as I said, they've got the most scrumptious selection of yarn, uh, that I've seen anyway here in Guelph. Um, there have been a couple of different yarn shops that have come and gone, but All Strong Out has really lasted the test of time. They've been downtown. They've been on Quebec Street since 2007. I've been a regular shopper since 2008, and I'm incredibly happy. Yes, kitty. Sorry, there's, you can't see, but there's a kitty trying to get my attention <laughs> behind the camera. Um, but yes, I've been a, a regular faithful shopper for many, many years and look forward to many, many more years of service by this wonderful family and their amazing store. So that's it. That's it for now. Um, thank you so much uh, for everybody who's subscribed or even just clicks on the video first time. If you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all the positive feedback. Uh, it also gives me so much needed endorphins. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't already yet, please click subscribe. The button is down here and hit the notification bell. It'll let you know when I upload videos. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more frequently now. Um, and yeah, drop a comment down below if um, you're from Southwestern Ontario and you want to give these guys a, a visit, please do so. Again, I'm going to drop the website down below. I don't know why I'm pointing with a pen, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and uh, let's all keep making cool stuff together. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.